game in the future. Constantine eventually dies on the ground, but the announcer pays no attention to the man's threats as he begins the next round, where the mafia gets to kill another civilian. When the lights come back inside the building, the announcer reveals that the mafia has chosen Ivan to be killed. Even though the young man is about to die, he realizes that he has already won, as he managed to reclaim his innocence in front of all the audiences, and most importantly, his own mother. All the people watching sadness as Ivan is brought towards the Black Sphere of Death, where he's put into a prison cell to be executed despite his innocence. However, inside the man's vision, he's able to see his mother once again, where the woman displays her proudness towards her son. When Ivan sees the expression of his mother's face, the man finally obtains the courage to face death as all the guns fire towards him and killing him in the process. After Ivan is gone, there's only 4 players left, which means that they cannot afford afford any more mistakes in the voting process, but everyone seems to be more confused than ever before. Ilya accuses Kirill of working together with Katia, as the two seems to be overly familiar with each other, causing him to think that they're actually lovers. It turns out that they do know each other from before the game, as they met in a bar before all this happened, but Kirill refused the assumption that they're conspiring together. With this confirmation, Luca believes that their fates are all in the hands of the couple now, but Katia is unable to make any decision as to who they should kill next. Very soon, the timer quickly runs out and the game is forced to choose a victim randomly which turns out to be Katia herself, but she reveals that she's also just a civilian. The woman apologizes for failing all the players as she gets brought into the air, but Kiro manages to break out in the last moment as he desperately grabs onto the woman's chair. This causes them both to be brought into the Black Sphere as the creator watches in curiosity since this has never happened before in the previous games. The two are quickly moved into a mysterious location where the man regains consciousness and realizes that they're standing on nothing but glass. He tells the woman to not be afraid and begins walking towards her but quickly sees that the entire floor is cracking from underneath. Realizing that time is running out, the man immediately runs towards the girl as the ground begins shattering into pieces right under his feet. Kiro is able to reach the woman just in time, but they're forced to jump in the last moment and fall into the abyss. When the man eventually wakes up, he's surprised to see that they're still alive, but finds out that they're completely lost. However, the people soon notice the triangle that Constantine talked about and realizes that it must be the only way out. The two continue venturing towards the rocks as they make it inside the valley, but the man quickly notices that something is wrong as numerous tentacles begin to surround them. This causes the people to run immediately as they try desperately to evade the monsters. The two eventually makes it through the rocks and entering into a large field, where the boss music begins to play and a giant monster made from lava starts crawling out towards them. Kirill tells the girl to hide immediately as he rushes in to face off his worst fear and causing the monster to attack the man repeatedly by using its claws. Luckily, Kirill is able to dodge the enemy just in time and quickly notices that the creature has a weakness for sunlight which evaporates the monster's skin. The man is able to conjure up a plan as he sees the necklace on the enemy's head which causes him to run towards the monster immediately as he climbs onto the creature's arm. Kiro jumps in and grabs onto the necklace before falling onto the ground while the creature launches in to attack him furiously. The man takes the chance and reflects the light towards the monster which is quickly able to bring down the creature by burning its body and turning it into dust. He takes the necklace and puts it onto the mechanism which completes the puzzle on the wall, causing them to be consumed by a giant tornado that eventually brings them towards the creator. On the other side, the announcement tells the audiences that the game is over, as the killer is still alive when there's only one civilian left, meaning that the mafia has won. However, this is not the true ending for Kiro and Katia, as the creator explains that this was all part of his plan. He purposely allowed the man to escape from his chair to allow the impossible to happen inside the game as the people have become tired of the same outcomes inside the show. He also reveals that their bodies are still inside the black sphere and allows them to live on this one time, but warns the people that he will always be the one who controls the game. Sometimes later, Ilya is able to go home to his family as he quickly reveals that he was 
was the mafia in the end, which allows him to leave one billion dollars for his loved ones before he dies. What the people don't realize is that Constantine was right about changing the history, as Kiro plans to enter the game once again, so that he can finally stop the show that uses human lives as entertainment. So what do you guys think about this movie?